بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أبو بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وسلم تسليما كثيرا Allow me uh, to present to you uh, part one of two parts for the for revising the material that is in, going to be included in the first exam. Uh, this is this presentation is basically for those students who have missed the class, specifically the last class, in which uh, we uh, revised all the content that is included in the first exam. The part one will be focused on the numeric systems. As you all know, uh, we have uh, presented four numeric systems. Uh, the first one is the binary one, uh, which is based on the number two. Uh, the second one is the octal num uh, numeric base system, which is based on the number eight, and then the decimal which is based on the number 10 and this actually is the one that uh, we usually use in our daily life uh, and basically if we uh, put the brackets and mention the base 10 is it same thing as if uh, if not so if, if you at any time see a number without uh, the base 10 that means it's a decimal uh, decimal uh, number and finally the hexadecimal which is based on the number 16 and for this numeric based system we either we either specify the number with a prefix of 0x or with the brackets and the subscript of the number 16 so either way represent a hexadecimal number Now, uh, to talk about the conversion from decimal or to decimal, uh, we are going to divide the conversion technique into two. One, if we are talking about converting a numeric system to decimal, and the other one to convert it from decimal system. Regarding the first one, which is conversion to decimal, Let's assume that we have this number 0101 011 and uh, we want to convert it to a decimal numeric system or we want to see the value of this binary number. So the, the leftmost, if we want to uh, assign a number, assuming the leftmost number is based is takes the number zero so it represents two to the power of zero since we are talking about a binary number the second one is let's say to two to the power of one and the third one is two to the power of two and the fourth one two to the power of three and so on so what does this number really mean is as follows we can always see that the binary number cannot display any number other than 0 or 1 so the maximum digit is 1 uh, the value of this basically is taking the first number and multiplying it with the number of 2 and the base to the index of that number gives you and then sum, summing all these numbers gives you the value of this binary number so for the first one let's say it multiplies by 2 to the power 0 second one to the power 1 and so on if, if we took for instance this one our bar, so it is, it is 2 to the power of 4 and as you know multiplying zero by any number gives you zero so if we eliminate all these uh, numbers that have zero value 
we remains with the 1 times 2 to the power 5, 1 times 2 to the power 3, 1 times 2 to the power 1, and 1 times 2 to the power 2. And this value is 2 43. And as you all know that any number or 2 to the power of 0 is really 1. x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So if we added the 32 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1, we get the value of 43. And this will be exactly the same as the one that uh, represents for the binary number 0101011. To take, for instance, another example, uh, let's take the octal numeric system. Uh, we have this a huge number, and we want to compare it to decimal value. We do the, exactly what we've done with the binary system. Uh, the first digit refers to the index of 0, that is 8 to the power of 0. The second one, 8 to the power 1, and so on. So, basically, this number is this 7, the first or the most significant digit of this uh, number, 7, is multiplied by 8 to the power of 6. The second one, 1, is multiplied by 8 to the power of 5. And so on. Let's say 2 is basically 2 times 8 to the power of 0. The second one, to the power of 8 to the power, uh, 8 to the power of 1, and so on. So this gives you the, this gives you the, the value, 7 times 8 to the power of 6, to the 2 to the power, or 2, to 2 times 8 to the power of 0. And as you know, 8 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And if we remove the zeros, you know, 0 times any number is equal to 0, so we end up with this one, and uh, the value is, is going to be B. So, now we're talking about the decimal values, where we have uh, a decimal point. How are we going to, let's say, convert this binary or this binary number into a decimal number? <coughs> so, for those, for the number that's to the left of the decimal point, we do it the same thing that we did with it. However, for those number that, for for those values that is to the right of the decimal point, we give the base of minus one. If we start with the power of zero at the first digit to the left of the decimal point, while the first digit to the right of the decimal point is minus one, and increases. So for this one, which is to the left it is a positive power, 0, 1, 2, and so on. While the value that is to the right of the decimal point, it gets a negative power, that is minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. This one is minus 2, and the third one is minus 3. What is 2 to the power minus 3 equals is basically it's 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Okay, so the value comes up, comes down to 1 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0. While those numbers that are to the right of the decimal point gets the power of negative. So the first one, 0 times 2 to the power of minus 1 is 0. What about the 1 times 2 to the power of minus 2? It is 1 over 2 times 2 to the power of 2, which is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. So the 2 to the power of 0 is 1, while those of the negative power is basically 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. And adding all this number, we get 5.375.
to take another example in the in the hexadecimal let's say that we have a number 10.34 in the hexadecimal and we want to convert it to a decimal point the 10 we do it normally it is 16 to the power of 0 and 16 to the power of 1 that means the power is positive 0 and 1 while the number that is to the right of this one point take the power of negative values so this comes down to the same thing as we did in the binary 1 times 16 to the power 1 3 times 16 to the power minus 1 plus 4 times 16 to the power of 2 and this is the same now if we want to convert from decimal, this time we're going to convert from decimal. Let's assume that we have a value of 39 in decimal. We want to convert it to binary. How do we do that? Basically, we, we divide by the value of the base. The value of the base is 2. So we divide 39 over 2. And this comes to 19 plus a little remainder of 1 over 2. So 39 over 2 is 19 plus 1 over 2. And this one and this one we take it to the rightmost bit of the binary value. How about the 19? We take the 19, that is the result of the division, and then divide again, again into 2. The, the result comes to 9 plus a reminder of 1. Now the 9, we do it the same, we take it and divide it by the value of 2. We have 4 plus 1, which is the reminder, and we take that reminder and put it next. Now the, now the result is 4, and we want to divide by 2. It comes 2 and the reminder of 0, we place the 0 next. And the same thing till we, find, till we reach the value of 0. If we, for instance, want to take 0 again and divide by 0, the result will be 0. So, does, it doesn't matter. Even if we added 0 to 1, 0, 2 zeros, 3 zeros to the left, the number is the same. Now, let's take another example, which is 9.375. I want to convert it to a binary system. Again, the 9, we divide by 2, we get 4, and the remaining of 1. This one, we take it and place it just next to the decimal point. Of course, to the left. So, the, the, the 4 is, in turn divided over 2, the result is 2, and the remain, remainder is 0. I will take 0 and place it next. Now the result of 2, we divide by 2 again in turn, and the, the remainder will be 0, we place it next. Again, we start placing all these remainders next to the decimal point, of course to the left. However, for the decimal values, which is 0 0.375, instead of dividing over 2, we multiply it by 2. So, 0.375 times 2 is equal to 0 0.125 plus 1, which is exactly as 1.125.